Hey everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Basil. Uh, so my plan for today is to take down all of these trees so I can build, start building up like a, a villager area and or just something else. I, I think I want to do villagers, but I'm really not sure at this point. Um, and then over here I want to create a giant wheat farm and take down the, those trees over there and just kind of clear out this area and make it look like an actual farm. Uh, but first I'm gonna go make some, uh, uh, actually, I have to sleep first. Hold up. Um, while I'm over here, let me show you the finished product of the of the farm. So inside, I did melons and pumpkins around the edge with glass over there, so you can like see everything. And I did the same thing over here, and then up here. I have uh, wheat storage and pumpkins and melons, so I can just. I can just collect them, and if I want to, I can just break this and, and go feed it to all the animals that need wheat and stuff. So, yeah, uh, that's that's basically the finished product. Also, I got all the flowers over here and everything. Uh, a lot of this work was done on the live streams, um, so you guys should tune into that. My next live stream will be this up uh, this next this next Friday. I'll put the I'll put the date on the screen right now. Um, but that uh, but I want to go also show you. I have been doing some mining off camera, ha ha ha. I have 25 diamonds plus the, the diamond block I have in my base over there. But I do want to, I think, okay. I have these and I wanna make an ax for this project and go enchant it and stuff. But I have this mending book and I think I wanna put that on my diamond pickaxe even though it doesn't have unbreaking three right now. I. I think I just want to put it on my pickaxe just because it does have efficiency 4 on it. Um, it has some sort of unbreaking. Um, I think that's probably going to be the best bet, so I want to do that real fast. Hopefully I'll have enough levels for that. Uh, I hope I will. Honestly, I probably won't. Oh, yeah, I have 5. Okay, so this has mending on it, so we, we'll heal this up later. And then i got to make an axe. I want to make an axe, a diamond axe. This will probably be my new fighting utensil. Fighting utensil, what am I talking about? Oh, also, I, uh, I finished, I, um, I fixed my enchanting room over here. Uh, it got exploded. I went up here one day and there was a creeper in here and it just decided to explode. Um, so I, I lit up the area around and I fixed it on the inside. I think it looks a lot better than it did originally. Originally it was kind of just, um, icky. I don't know how else to describe, but it was just icky. So I want... I want some sort of efficiency, but I don't have enough levels for that. So let me go collect some levels real quick. And that should do it. Let me get rid of this last guy real fast. Um, that took me way, way, way longer than it needed me to. Because I had the 30 experience. And then I went over here to go enchant. I went over way, way over here. I went over here to enchant, and there were some zombies chilling out over here. And they decided to jump me, and I lost all my levels, and I'm not happy about it. But we're finally at 30 levels, so we can enchant our axe with efficiency 4. If I don't, if I get, I hope I get unbreaking on this. Nope, it's just efficiency 4. Okay, well, that took me so long to do. And I'm not happy about it. So I'm going to get started on tearing down this this tree line over here. I want to start kind of at the coast. Um, I don't really want. I don't think it's going to be that interesting to see. So I guess I'll do another cut, um, and I'll be back when it's done. I guess. Okay. So it is now finished. Um, I tore down all the trees. Um, but the thing is, I didn't realize how hilly this was and how, like, the Endermen have totally ruined the landscape of this place. I didn't notice that until, like, like while I was, uh, tearing it, tearing all the trees down. So off camera, uh, I will, I'll start tearing this mountain down along with, or this hill, this isn't a mountain. I'll tear this hill down along with this one so we can have kind of an open, more open space for our villagers to go. Um, but speaking of villagers, I kind of want to get 
some over here. Um, yeah, I want to get some over here, uh, but that's going to take a while. So I will also probably do that off camera because it's like way, way over there in the distance over that mountain. And it's going to take a long time to get them. Um, so now I would like to focus our attention on to this little area over here because I want to turn this into a wheat farm, like I said. Um, so I want to take all of this sand out and replace it with dirt and then just kind of I'm going to create a farm out of it. So I will do that now. And I have uh, finished as much as I can on the farm. This is what it looks like. It is as filled in with wheat as it possibly can be. That one's already almost gone, wow. Um, I'll work on filling this in with grass or more wheat uh, later on. But yeah, that's what we're, that's what we've got right now. And there's still some, there's some over here. Um, but now I think I, I have changed my mind. We are gonna work on getting some villagers over here and we'll go do that. So as you can see, because of my shirt, it's the next day. Um, I got really busy yesterday and didn't get to finish recording. I had some time to play and do some other work, so I finished um, putting crops in the field. There's crops absolutely everywhere. Each block block has a is a wheat seed in it, and I also spent some time over where we had cleared all those trees, leveling it. I have taken down the hill that was right here and right here and this mountain I've terraformed it this part right here used to not be there and so I made it be there I've tried to go as natural as I want but this is where our villagers are gonna go this is where they're gonna live um, I do need to make a rail system all the way over to the the village but I'll do that in a little bit first I want to build the uh, build the villagers this is kind of the design I'm looking for right here this is my creative world where I test a bunch of my ideas I want to build kind of like almost an apartment complex I want this to be able to be open and the villagers to to be able to like live in here they have a bed they have their workspace and you can trade with them but this is the kind of design I want um, uh, I, I don't I we might do a better way of getting up because this doesn't always work in survival but yeah let me get started on that so I think our widest point is facing this way like facing the ocean I think this is our widest point right here and for the design I have we're gonna have four in the middle and three on each side for a total of ten so it'll go like one Two, so that, that's one. That's two. That's three, and that's four. So that that will be filled with the oak. It's not stripped yet, but it will be. It'll be filled with this. Oops. Uh, okay, let me fix this. I gotta be deliberate with my placing in this version. Like, it's not like creative where I can just place it willy-nilly uh, okay and then we need to fix this one right here I don't know we might have to move it down a couple blocks because it's definitely not centered okay I want to move it down to right here so and then and then break that last module at the end this one Yeah, that's basically the design and then after that it goes it goes like two one so that's one two one two and then three so that's what's going to kind of look like and i will make it okay so we are done with this level we've got a cartographer in here and a stone cutter in here I think there are some more things at the village, but um, I'm just picking up the wood that I had to grow because I ran out of oak, oak, uh, oak logs, so I had to plant a whole bunch, and I planted too much, so now I'm just taking them down as they come down. Um, 
but we're going to go over to the village. I'm going to make the, the rails all the way over there and start transporting them back. So I'm going to go make the rails and I'll meet you guys down there. Okay, I just realized I forgot something. Um, we don't need the villagers over there yet. We actually need to make a villager breeder over here. Um, I got this design. Uh, I can't remember who I got this design from. But, oh, I forgot slabs. Uh, I'll get those in a minute. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to go one, two, three on all sides like that and then you'll put slabs on here and then the beds on the slabs and the other stuff let me sleep real fast and I'll go get the slabs okay so once you have your slabs you go like right, right here right here right here and then you take your beds and you make sure the beds the heads of the beds are facing out like this and you do that all the way around and then what you do is you need a fence post, which I forgot again. Um, let me let me do that. I can do that real fast. Let me just take my crafting table and get some fence posts. Okay, and then you take this and you put it right here. So they're going to be standing on this. And then you take your trap doors and your carpet and you go you wait you go bang right here and then do the same thing on all sides with the carpet and then you'll put your villagers in here and then the babies will pop down into there now I can go to the rails okay so now that we've got them here we need to wrangle them into a mine cart so I think what I want to do, I don't know what I want to do. I think I want to just try to get them up, but I want to make it to where they can't escape really anywhere. So I just I want to build a little block around them and then, then we'll let them out. Make this too high, obviously. I'm not stupid. And then we we'll need to make it three high. Be extra sure. This is going to be a pain in the butt to take down, but I don't care. I need villagers. Bad. I need them very badly. Okay. So then they should be able to get out and come over here. Right. Okay, they're going to want to do that. They're going to want out of the water. Go on, you can get out of the water. Yep, come on. Come on over here, man. It's really cool over here. Actually, I don't want them... I don't want them to suffocate if they get in the minecart. Okay, cool. So you are person number one. Yeah, come on, man. Look, you can get in the minecart. It's so much fun. Oh, don't tell me it's getting nighttime. Of course, it's getting nighttime right now. Come on, in the cart, 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 in the cart. Come on, in the cart. Oh, okay. So, that's not supposed to happen. Okay. So, uh, okay. I don't know what to do. I don't have any wool on me. Okay. Well, let me light this area up first. Make sure nothing's going to spawn in here. Just over torch spam. Okay, so if we... If we go over here, we do some parkour. Well, okay, well, I didn't mean to do that, but it works, it works. And then... We... Break. I need the cart. I need the rail in my hand. If we. Uh, okay, so put that in my offhand. And then we put that there. 
then uh, I don't want the other guy to escape. Okay, he's in the water. He's fine. And then we'll break this. And that guy is good. Okay. I'll come back for that. And I'm just going to focus on this guy. Uh oh, not that way, not that way, not that way. Nope. Okay. Anyway, I will meet you guys at the at my base. And that's one maybe one down. One down. One down, one to go. I don't think he can get out. No, he can't get out. Okay. Time to go do another one. And we've got another one. Both of you get in there. Come on, go on. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. You can do it. Yep. Right in there. Come on. Go. 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 Don't make me hit you. Right in there. Right in there. I know you can fit. Because you were just in there. Come on, man. Get in there. There you go. Now you're in there forever. Now what we need to do is we need to give them, like, carrots, potatoes, and stuff. And they will have a child. But that is about all we have time for today. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please smash that like button. This video took me two days to create. Uh, also, I want to thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have something planned. Um, but yeah, with that, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.